What is up, guys? Happy Monday. Uh, hope everyone had a good morning. It was surging like crazy this morning. Uh, I got some of it after 6.30 in the morning. Um, I had an O'Hare run. I dropped off a guy about five and then I kept the app on didn't get a pickup from O'Hare surprise surprise and then uh on the way back I picked up a guy on the north or not north side kind of like um kind of like by Milwaukee and Lawrence and he ended up going to Morton Grove during that trip the whole city started surging uh I dropped him off, set the destination filter for Union Station like I always do, had a couple trips and then didn't really catch any of the big, big surge until, um, like I said, 6.45, 7 o'clock. Okay, so one of my subscribers asked me to explain my destination filter trick for uh, airport runs, and I'll get into that right now. Um, between 5.25 and 6.30... I set my filter for Union Station or the Willis Tower because if I set my filter for those for that location, I only get trips around there. And then I turn the app off like let's say I I'm at Belmont and uh Broadway, right? And I get a trip to Union Station. I'll drop someone off by Union Station, I'll turn the app off and then I'll head back up north on Lakeshore Drive. And I'll do that again. There might be a little bit of wait time if it's a slow morning or whatever. So I'll do that. I knock out those two destination trips from 5.25 to 6.30. At 6.35 or 6.40, if I get a request and they're going to O'Hare or Midway, the traffic on a normal weekday, that's when it's bad. So when I get a trip going to the airport at the time, it will say on the screen, 45 minutes plus. That lets me know they're going. They're either leaving the city entirely or they're going to the airport. So I can make a choice. If it's not surging, I'm not taking an airport trip. Why would I? That's not a good idea. If it's like a 2.2 surge, you bet your ass I'm taking an airport trip because that's going to be worth like 60 bucks. Um, so that's why, that's why I use my destination filter to my advantage in the mornings, which everyone should be doing. Uh... That's my trick for Uber. Uh, people, I guess, don't use it for Lyft because the destination filters for Lyft don't count towards the power driver bonuses. So that's why Lyft is the amateur squad and and Uber is the uh, Uber's the varsity team. Um, they're the big boys. They're the all stars. Um, so that's my destination filter trick for O'Hare. You know, it's it it works like a fucking charm because the mornings that I have forgotten to set the filter and i'll turn the app on like at 5 40 i'll i end up going to midway or o'hare and it just ruins my morning uh this morning i did okay i'm still on the app now because there's these big boosts i'm not getting any trips but uh for a little bit of five hours driving on the app i'm at 557 i turned the app on at 401 this morning i was ready to go i I woke up like at two in the morning and I, I'm like, you know what? Time to get to it. You know, I got in the city and I can't, I had the app on for a little bit, didn't get any trips and then 401 hit and I got right to it. Okay. So there's that. Um, now I'm going to talk about something else that has been annoying me. I've had like three different people email me and a few different people uh, uh, comment about the Uber pool trick, how it's this, this trick that I, Apparently, you guys can't believe that no one else uses. Um, and I'm going to explain to you right now why that trick is really stupid. Okay. Um, this, is a, this is a pool trip from... I'm sorry. This is a pool trip from the week of Christmas, Christmas Eve. Um, it was a lengthy trip. It was 30 minutes for 17 miles. Now, if you guys can see that, if there's not enough glare, sorry guys, I really pop up. You know what? 
So that was a... Okay, well, let me start up here first. Okay. 1678, right? 1678 for... Let's just round up to 30 minutes and 16.83 miles, okay? And that's... If you guys see that, the distance and mile, the breakdown is there. Okay, I don't know if I took a screenshot of that. Let me check really quick. Sorry. I did not. But in the next couple screenshots, I did break down a pool fare. So that was one passenger, and that was 1678 for 30 minutes and almost 17 miles. I did the numbers. If that was an Uber X fare, that would have been about $19. So on that trip, because it was a pool, I mean, I chose to take it. So I knew, I, and I, I didn't do the trick where I stopped new requests or turn off the app. Um, it was a pool of $17. Okay. Now. Okay. Here's a pool from this past week. It was slow this week. That's why I took a pool. Okay. Last week, right? $8.38 for 22 minutes and 48 seconds and 4.80 miles, okay? Now pay attention to this. There was two passengers, so I got the additional pickup and the distance was 3.65 and the time was 2.55, okay? Now, look at the per minute rate on that, or per mile. So 4.80 times 0.77 will come out to 3696. And that's for an UberX, that's for an UberX fare, okay? So 36, 3 point, let's just say 3.7. And on that fare, it paid three dollars and sixty-five cents. So I got short. I was shorted five cents on that fare, right? Uh, on the on the per mile rate compared to the UberX rate. Now this is all. This is this is where. This is where it gets a little bit more messed up. The per minute rate for an UberX trip is in Chicago. Is sixteen cents. So for 23 minutes times 16, that should have been $3.68. On that trip, as you can clearly see, it was $2.55. So for a 22 minute trip that went less than five miles, I made 8.38. Now, this is the best comparison I can I can find from my recent trips that same weekend. Um, that was the same day, Saturday. Uh, I made six dollars and thirty five cents for four dollar for four mile four point two miles and twelve minutes and fifteen seconds. So I made two dollars less for less than half the time. Now, if you guys are using the Uber pool trick where you're canceling or you're 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 turning off the app as soon as you pick up the first passenger, let's say you're a full-time driver and you do 120 trips a week, 100 to 120 trips, a week, you are losing on 40 to $50 per week using your beloved trick. That's why I say, instead of using the trick, do not take pools. I mean, yeah, I'm guilty of it, as you guys can see, because it was super slow, and I just need, like, if it's a slow night, unfortunately, I'm going to take every trip they threw at me. Um, and some nights I even turn on delivery, but uh, I don't have a bag. I don't have a, a hot bag. I did order one off Amazon. It's coming soon. Um, so that's why on slow nights or if I'm stuck in the middle of nowhere, I will unfortunately take whatever trips they, they throw at me. So 
that's why I want to explain to you guys, if you're using the trick, the Uber pool trick, um, you're screwing yourself out of money, plain and simple. Let's say you do that 40 times in a week. That's $40. You just kiss goodbye. That's, that's a tank of gas just to, I, I just want you guys to know, I, I really, I appreciate the feedback from all of my viewers. I really do. Do not think you know more than me. <laughs> That's, if that thought ever enters your brain, no. I've been, I, I was wrong on the cargo thing, cause, but I was right because that was based off old information. Um, but I was wrong in, at the end. The cargo thing, I'll take it. I'll, I'll take that. But please don't think you know more than me when it comes to earnings or, or how to play the game or anything like that. You don't. I'm sorry. That's why I get short whenever people say like, oh, I got this great trick for... No, you don't. If your great trick is losing money, then <laughs> I'm not using that trick. And I'm not going to tell my viewers to do it either. So um, that's uh, that's all I got for now. Uh, hopefully every, hope everyone had a good Monday. And uh, it's going to be a cold, wet week. Or it's going to warm up. Thursday or Wednesday and Thursday, but then it's going to like level off and get cold and snowy over the weekend. So uh, that's good driving weather because bad weather means surge. Cold and rain and snow means surge. So uh, I hope everyone gets out there and kicks ass and makes money this week. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, that's all I got. Stay safe out there, guys. Bye.